When I walked across the stage at Hevdi Hall 35 years ago, my heart was full of joy. A sense of pride and accomplishment consumed me. As I reached out my hand towards Dean Yang, the commencement photographer captured the moment. A huge smile came across the Dean's face as he reached out with both hands to cup his hands around mine. I had the privilege of getting to know Dean Yang when he was the head of the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and then later through my activities with the Society of Women Engineers when he was the Dean. In his smile, I could see his excitement and happiness for me. In his handshake, I could feel his confidence in me. Today, I am once again filled with joy and gratitude for being recognized as an outstanding aerospace engineer by the Purdue faculty of the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics. I congratulate all of the 2020 awardees. It is truly an honor to be among you. Purdue, and especially my professors, provided me with the foundation I needed to have a rewarding and successful career in aerospace. My dream was to work on the space shuttle program. Sadly, during my senior year, the Challenger disaster happened. That changed the trajectory of my career. Instead of working in solid and liquid rocket propulsion, I went to work for the McDonnell Douglas Aircraft Company in Long Beach, California as an engine performance engineer. When I flew on a test aircraft for the first time as a flight test engineer, I realized that I had found my true calling. I was in love with aircraft. I was able to apply the knowledge and the perseverance I had learned at Purdue to solve some very difficult and challenging problems associated with aircraft and engine performance. When I look back on those days, I realized that I was one of the first data scientists while most of my friends were designing aircraft structures, I was analyzing aircraft data. In 1995, I went to work for Northwest Airlines as an engine condition monitoring engineer. My role was to monitor the wide body aircraft to ensure that they were safe for flight and to carry passengers. I gained a true appreciation for how my engineering decisions could impact the lives of so many people through on-time departures, inconvenient delays, or worse, an accident. In 2003, I joined the United Technologies Corporation, now Raytheon Technologies, where I remain employed today. At this point in my career, I was no longer doing an engineering job. I was leading an engineering initiative. For the next 17 plus years, I dedicated my career to advancing the technology of aircraft and engine health management as more and more aircraft became capable of producing large quantities of data. In 2018, I was inducted into the Fellows Program at Collins Aerospace. And today, I am fortunate to be able to spend a great deal of my time giving back to the aerospace community through the development of industry standards, driving regulatory changes, participating in the IAC, and mentoring the next generation of engineers. Life is full of chance happenings. You have to grab opportunities when they come along. My career path did not turn out to be the path that I had originally envisioned for myself. However, I have loved every single minute of the path that I have been on. And that path started the day I arrived on the Purdue campus. In closing, I'd like to thank my mother for the personal sacrifices she made to help fund my first two years at Purdue. I'd like to thank my husband for sticking by me all these years. I'd like to thank my study partners, Joe Speth and Christine Grandin Ross, for all the times we spent together studying and working on those really difficult classes like orbital mechanics. I'd like to thank Professor Gustafson, who was my undergraduate academic advisor, and Professor Weishauer, who provided me guidance when I was the president of the AIAA student chapter. I also would like to thank Professors Howe and Sullivan for providing those aha moments when it truly sunk in and I understood what it was they were trying to teach me. And lastly, I'd like to thank Tom Shee and Bill Crosley and the entire faculty of the School of Aeronautics and Astronautics for bestowing upon me this prestigious award. It truly means so much to me. Thank you. <laughs>